Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to integrate a simple function. Say we're given the um, problem to integrate x to the third, and we have no clue what this is even talking about. Well, looking past all of the fancy symbols and letters, all it's saying is that they've given us the derivative of the function f of x, which is x to the third, right here. They want us to find the original function it came from. So again, they gave us right here the, deriv the derivative of f of x, and they want us to find f of x. So how are we going to do that? Well, in cases like this, there's a pretty simple uh, way to find what we call the antiderivative or the function that the derivative came from. And it's kind of like a reverse power rule. So if we're given that uh, the derivative of a function is equal to c, the coefficient of x, times, I mean, to the power of n, the function it came from is going to be equal to the coefficient divided by n plus 1 times x to the power of n plus 1. So now all we need to do is follow this rule for x to the third to find its original function that it came from f of x, and that's going to be the answer to our original problem. So, if our function, if we have the derivative as x to the third, and we know the coefficient is really just 1 times x to the third, so we know that c equals 1, and n equals 3, I can't see that, then we know that f of x is really going to be 1 over 3 plus 1 times x to the 3 plus 1, which in simpler terms is just equal to 1 fourth x to the fourth. And that is going to be our original function. one-fourth x to the fourth, which is the answer to this original problem. All right, so now I'm going to give you a little harder example. And it's going to use two terms instead of one, but you should still be able to use our, uh, our little formula to find the answer. So I'd recommend pausing the video after I write this problem to try yourself. All right, so we're taking, we're integrating x squared plus 3x to the fifth. So, again, our function is really, our derivative of the function is really just x squared plus 3x to the fifth, which is that. And we're trying to find the function that the derivative came from. So, we're just going to take it term by term. So the first term, x squared, we'll use our rule that we came up with right here. So, if our original fun if our derivative of the function is x squared, we take the coefficient 1 and we divide it by the exponent plus 1, which is 3, x to the exponent plus 1, third. 
So that's that's our first term. So we already know the first term of our function, which is one third x cubed. Our second term is going to be um, far derivative of the second term is 3x to the fifth. Then we add one of the exponent, so 6, divide that, divide the coefficient by that, x, and then we add one again to the 6. So we add that to our original function. I mean, the original function. Alright, now in both of these cases, we're going to have to add a plus c. Now, why is that? Well, so we know that the answer to this problem now is what we found over here, which is one third x cubed plus one half x to the six plus c. But where the heck did I just bring that in from? Well, c is a constant. When you take the derivative, I mean, c could be c could be one, two, three. Because remember, when you take the derivative of the function, c gets dropped off. So. We don't really know what c is. It could be anything, and it's really important that you don't forget it like I did in the other example. So, our final answer is going to be 1 third x cubed plus 1 half x to the sixth plus c, and that c is very important because it's a, it's a placeholder. We don't know what goes here. It could be anything. All right, and if you have any questions at all over this, just uh, write a comment. Or if you want to see another video over another topic, um, you know, just comment me and, and subscribe if you if you like the videos. Hope that wasn't too confusing and that could clear up uh, clear up some calculus worry. Um, thanks for watching.